Hello. Today I'm going to tell you the story of a 15-year-old girl named Sarah. Sarah, a 15-year-old girl, lived in her family's old and mysterious mansion. Rumors of the mansion being haunted had been circulating in the town, but Sarah didn't believe in them. However, tonight, everything would change for Sarah. When her family went out one night, Sarah was left home alone. As she sat in her room, she suddenly heard a strange sound. She was slightly unnerved, but didn't think much of it, attributing it to the wind slamming a window. However, the sounds grew closer, and Sarah heard slow and fast footsteps coming from the stairs. She felt a shiver down her spine because her family was outside, and there was no reasonable explanation for these sounds. She cautiously stepped out of her room and noticed that no lights were on in the hallway. Dot as she ventured down the hallway, she suddenly heard a spine-chilling moan emanating from the basement of the house. Her eyes were drawn to a painting of an elderly artist where the eyes seemed to glow in a dark room. When she opened the basement door, she saw a silhouette in the darkness. Who's there? She called out, but received no response. She took another step, and a hand suddenly grabbed her chest. Cold, bony fingers clutched her, holding her in a tight grip. Don't go, Sarah. A voice whispered, never go. Sarah screamed in terror and tried to pull away, but something was behind the basement door approaching her. She attempted to escape, but the door wouldn't open. The breath of the thing from the dark room reached her neck, enveloping her in a chilling darkness. Suddenly, everything went pitch black. Dot next, Sarah found herself outside the house with her family without them realizing what had just happened. She carried the horror and darkness of that moment with her dot from that day on. Sarah never ventured into the basement again, and she couldn't forget the eerie painting. She never knew what truly happened in that mysterious dark room. But the rumors about the mansion started to seem more believable to her a few weeks later, Sarah was alone in the house again. This time, she decided to explore the mansion's rooms. On the first floor, she found an antique mirror. As she gazed at herself in the mirror, a dark figure appeared. Behind her, she quickly turned around, but no one was there. Had she just seen a product of her fearful thoughts that night? Sarah dreamt that she was inside the dark room. There was an elderly woman standing in the middle of the room, and she approached Sarah. Don't get lost in the darkness. Sarah, she said, just come to me. Sarah woke up in terror, but the face of the woman and her dream haunted her memory. The woman's eyes were the same as those in the painting of the elderly artist. After that, Sarah no longer wanted to stay in the mansion. She explained her desire to leave to her family and managed to convince them to move elsewhere. The mansion was left behind, but the dark room and its haunting eyes continued to live on in her nightmares. 